Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here with a review of my new Heritage Rough Rider. Now I did an unboxing video of this gun not that long ago and yesterday I took it out and shot it for the first time. Only put about 40-50 rounds through the gun so not really enough to know whether or not it's going to hold up for a long time but uh, just enough to get a good feel for it and uh, just have a good time. So. Uh, some things that I pointed out in my unboxing video are that it does have this kind of eyesore of a safety. Um, it has a little red dot there for fire, so if you flip it up like this, it's safe. And that is, uh, it does make a good way to safely drop the hammer. You know, I guess in case you, uh, in case the hammer slips out of your hand, you don't like accidentally discharge it if you load six. Um, but you can also load five in this, just like a, like how you would load um, a Colt or a Colt clone. It does have that classic four-click uh, Colt-style hammer, so C O L T. So that's four clicks has the standard Colt style sights. Very basic, just a blade in the front and a trench in the back. Not really combat style sights or hunting style sights, but this isn't really a self-defense gun or a hunting gun. This is really just a fun gun and that's really what I uh, took it out and used it for. Um, so you do have to put it on half cock to unload it, just put on half cock and open up the gate and you have your ejection rod and the clicks do line up quite nicely so you just click and the rod is automatically lined up so that is a nice feature. I know that some of the uh, Rugers, some of the newer Rugers, the uh, it like the ejection rod lines up like right before the click so if it clicks then you gotta like go all the way around to get the the uh, spent casing out um, so that's kinda nice does have some nice wood grips um, I think these are coca bolo these do come in uh, several different types of grips and also se several different types of uh, uh, different barrel lengths so you can get uh, this is a Four and uh, four point seven five, so four and three quarter inch barrel, I believe. Um, there is like a six inch barrel or six and a half inch barrel, something like that. And then there's like a three inch barrel, which comes with a bird head style grip. Uh, so a nice compact package. Um, so let's see, what else can I say about this gun? Um, the frame is an aluminum alloy, so. Um, you know, the barrel is steel, the cylinder is steel, the hammer and the, the trigger, I believe, are all steel. Um, but the frame, so the grip frame, and then the, uh, the frame that holds, houses the, the trigger, hammer, and cylinder, that's all aluminum alloy, I believe. So, um, and, it, and it's like a soft aluminum alloy, I guess, because the the melting point on the frame of this gun is lower than pretty much any other gun out there. It, uh, this gun does not meet the melting point requirements for some states. I think Illinois is one of them, and I, I don't really know who else. Um, but you know, this gun does not meet those requirements. Um, if you want to take the, the cylinder out, this does, you can get interchangeable cylinders for these. This is 22 long rifle only version, but they do make um, combos with the uh, magnum cylinder um, so you can you know, the way you, the, you take the cylinder out is you just put it on half cock uh, there's a little button here just like a just like a Colt is kind of an awkward angle you just push it in pull your little pin out and then you open the loading gate and it'll just drop right out so you have your pin and you have your uh, your cylinder and then reassembly is just reverse drop it in there make sure it's all lined up close the gate and then just put your base pin back in 
and you're ready to go. And again, that uh, safety will prevent any damage uh, of dry firing. Um, the, you know, I, I use this safety sometimes to put, uh, to safely like slowly drop the hammer like this. Um, you see that in my video. Uh, but sometimes I forget to take the safety off and I accidentally uh, pull the trigger and nothing happens and I'm like, oh, forgot to turn the safety off. So uh, that's just a thing that can happen. Most revolvers don't have any sort of a safety. This is like one of the only ones that do um, and I'm not really used to it. Um, actually, this is the first uh, 22 revolver that I ever fired, uh, whether it's single action or double action. Um, and it's been a long time since I've, I've shot a 22 handgun. I forgot how light they recoil. You know, I was, exp I guess I've been shooting too many nine millimeters and 38s recently. Um, because when, the first time I pulled the trigger, I'm like, Whoa, that's really light. Like I was expecting more recoil than that. So, uh, not uh, virtually no recoil on the 22 long rifle. The Magnum, I imagine, would be a little bit uh, heavier of a recoil, but still manageable. I mean, I highly doubt it's going to be uh, anything like a, a snub nose 38. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that too much if you get a Magnum cylinder. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Not much to say about this gun. Again, it's it's not a self-defense gun. It's not a hunting gun. It's really just a fun gun. Uh, but so far, I've only put like 40 rounds through this gun. And uh, I gotta say, it's, it's definitely a good gun. Um, haven't tested it for accuracy or anything. Um, it does... It does hit a bottle and a styrofoam cup at like 10 feet, <laughs> which is really, uh, that's really all I needed to do. Like, I don't care if it like, it, I don't care if it makes like inch groups at a hundred yards or anything. I highly doubt it would do that. Cause so, I mean, it was like, it was a $122 gun. So I don't expect it to be like pinpoint accurate, but I do expect it to hit what I'm shooting at. And uh, so far it has hit what I was shooting at. Um, Again, they do make longer barrel versions, and I think they make some with, with adjustable sights. So if you want kind of a target revolver, um, one of those more expensive options uh, would, would be better, or even like a sing, uh, Ruger single six or something like that. You know, it would be a better option for a good, accurate revolver. This is just a plinking revolver, so. Um, Anyway, that's really all I have to say about this gun. Um, I really like it. Uh, I do think it does hold a special place uh, when it comes to prepping, but I, I plan on doing a different video with that in the future, and uh, that, that's probably going to be a little controversial, so I won't roll that in here. But uh, yeah, just a good gun, and uh, I really like it. So uh, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook, follow me on Vidme. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.